Hey, this is Major League Fishing Pro Todd Walters, and today I get the distinct privilege of being one of the first ones to have the new Garmin Live Scope transducer, which is the XR Extended Range. So apparently, this transducer is supposed to be able to shoot out a lot further than the LVS 34, and um, I'm going to shoot in uh, down mode, perspective, and forward. Um, really, the only difference that I noticed so far is that it's a little bit bigger. Um, it comes with a perspective mount, so um, you can operate all three <clears throat> different uh, views. It uh, comes in all one, one little package. So we're going to put it in the water and see what it looks like. I'm, uh, I'm excited to give it a shot. All right, well, there it is right there. You can see that's the XR transducer, the extended range. Just a little bit bigger. Um, it's got a little heavier mount. I'm running two Echo Map Ultra 126s. Um, so I'll be in, uh, that's what you'll be looking at all day, but, uh, amazingly enough, the cord is actually smaller than the LVS 34, um, but, uh, everything else is bigger. So let's put her in the water and see what it does. Here is the new Garmin XR in forward mode. You can see there's a bunch of bait. I'm pretty deep and I'm shooting out about 80 feet right now. Well, here's the big difference between this transducer and the other ones. You can go and shoot out a lot further. So I'm going to go to 300 feet just to be safe, but you can see, you can see detail all the way out to 300 feet. You can see there's a bunch of, it, I'm in a deep clear lake right now. There's a bunch of spotted bass and bait around the spotted bass it's first thing in the morning so they're probably feeding but you can see as i turn it you get pretty good detail out to 300 feet that's the shoreline and you can see that's how far i am from the shore and i'll zoom out so i can shoot out 300 feet maybe even further this is a deep clear lake and it's got a hard bottom so you get a you can see some of the bursts i've got my return signal is uh, shooting off the hard bottom but you can see pretty far out see all the bait and the fish underneath it but i'll get some other shots of some trees and stuff stuff that's not moving that i can lock in on just now coming up onto the shore you can see pretty far out there's a shore there's a tree i'm gonna get as close as i can there's a bunch of fish right there moving towards me <clears throat> find that tree Next time I do this, I'll get a GPS map so I can record the screen. Apologize for the jumping around, but yeah, there's the tree up there, but you can see 300 feet out. I'm gonna go back and shoot out to where I just was. And you can see you can see up way further. Um, I've got it on amber. I don't use amber that much, but I figure most people use amber, so I would just use it. Um, I turn my color limit almost all the way down, and I've got my uh, color contrast at about 75%. But you can see that it definitely shoots out further, and it'll, it'll give you a signal back out to 300 feet, probably further. All right, I got out over the deepest water I think possible in this lake. Um, I'm out on Blues Creek, which is um, right at the foothills of the mountains. So it's a deep, clear lake. And you can see, the one thing I did do is I jacked my color limit up a little bit, and now I'm getting better signals out further. So I'm trying to find some stuff. Yeah, there's some, some bait. Out about 220 feet, um, pretty clear image. 
I'm on the edge of a, it's like a long tapering point that comes out, but there's, there's bait and looks like a few fish around the bait. But, um, you, I couldn't do this with my 34, so, um, this is definitely an advantage, especially with two days of practice on the Tackle Warehouse Pro Circuit. We only get two days of practice, so anything that I can use to help expedite things and to be more efficient during my practice time is definitely going to help me. So, I'm trying to find more bait out further, so there's some. That's out about 220, 240. Um, it shoots out to 500 feet. Um, I haven't, I haven't found anything out that far yet, but I'm gonna shoot it. I'm gonna switch it to 500 feet and see what happens. All right, I shot it out to 500 feet, and um, I had to turn everything way down, um, color gain and color limit. But you can still see out. You can see the bottom all the way out to 500 feet. That's for sure. There's something right there. I don't know what it is. It looks like a you know, brush pile or something. It looks too big to be a brush pile. We'll go investigate, see what we can find. Might have just found something cool with the the new transducer so this is pretty cool I was just scanning around messing around out in the deepest part of the lake and I found a sailboat you can see the mast you can see the boat it's sticking straight up it's a big sucker too I mean if it's down from the bottom of the lake 80 50 I mean the sails 30 feet high or so 50 to, yeah, at least. But you can see it's a sailboat right there. I'm gonna call somebody and let them know there's a sailboat at the bottom of the lake. I don't know that they'll do anything about it, but <clears throat> somebody's missing a sailboat. I know exactly where it is. There's a bunch of bait around it too. Like fish are already using it. It must've been there. It must, must've been here for a while. But yep, yeah, you can see it. I'm gonna look at my down or on my side view too and see if I can see it, but that's pretty cool. That's over 100 feet out, and I'm picking it up pretty good, so I don't think I could do that with my 34. Cool. Well, I'm gonna try uh, perspective mode and, and down imaging and, and see, uh, see how it does. All right, so I switched it over to down imaging and I mean, that thing's 40 feet out from the boat, and you can see everything. I'll try and get right over it and see what happens. I don't know what the image will do. It may distort. But that is pretty cool. We're right over it right now. It looks like it still has its sail on it. Yeah. Look at that, that's pretty cool. There's a bunch of All right, I'm still in down mode. There's my drop shot, you can see it. Right there, sorry about the glare. I know nobody wants to see my big fat head in the screen, but um, the sun's coming out pretty quick. But I mean, I can see it. And I'm 100 feet deep. Probably get it all the way down at the bottom. It's pretty good return too. I don't know that I ever fished this deep, but and it just goes to show you the signal strength of this thing is definitely, definitely stronger. All right, here is perspective mode. I'm shooting straight up, 300 feet. Um, I lose signal a little bit when I turn it, but. You can still see everything. You can still see well, most of the stuff's close in to me because the water's warm. It's 86 degrees and the fish are out deeper, but you can see all the bait. And you can see the fish swimming through the bait right there. 
but uh, I'm gonna move up a little bit shallower. I typically don't use perspective in anything over than 20 foot deep, but I wanted to see how far out I could actually, you can see the ditch. So I'm in this creek arm. Hopefully you can see this. I'm in a creek arm right in the channel and I'm heading back towards the back of it. And you can see the shore and you can follow the ditch. There's a ditch right there you can see. It's a little high spot right there. And I'm getting, you can tell when you see those ripples, you're getting close to the shore, which is right in front of us. Probably making everybody sick, but I apologize. But you can see the shoreline <clears throat> right in front of us. All right, we got a little bit shallower with perspective. Um, we're around 50 feet of water. We're getting close to the back, so we should see some depth changes as we turn around. And you can see the bank right over there. Um, right there is the shoreline. But as I zoom around, there's a little bit of a, you can, what's cool is you can see, like right there, you can see those little ledges that I know those fish sit on in the winter time that's a straight pretty much a straight down bank like a bluff bank and there's that um, little flat spot right there and I'm sure the fish sit on that all right I put on the compressed range um, as you can see up at the top it gives me wider segments closer to the boat and then it kind of compresses as it goes out um, and it looks like it's doing it automatically based on what it's picking up. So you can see there's a tree right there with a fish right behind it, and that is 120 feet out. And you can see the ditch right behind it, and you can see there's bait or something in the bottom of the ditch. But, um, and there's a brush pile right there. So um, I'm shooting out 400 feet. Now, if I turn it towards open water, I'm seeing the other bank right now. now. If I turn it towards the middle of the channel, I should be able to see. Might have to mess with the game a little bit, but yeah, see in the bottom of the ditch, see all that bait. There's a couple fish swimming around there, but I mean, that's 100, 120 feet out. If I can stay in the ditch, like that's fish there it's 160 feet all that's 160 feet so definitely can shoot out further that's for sure you can cover water a lot quicker but um i could see how this would be beneficial to somebody who fishes open water in the winter time or the summertime um, some of the south carolina lakes like murray where you're chasing bluebacks i could see how this would help um where i'm at right now it would definitely help deep clear spotted bass lake but um i think for you know james river potomac river shallow water high rock um you know i i i don't know that this would be beneficial the one thing i did notice for my trolling guys is when i'm moving around it doesn't distort very much at all like the walleye guys if you use your trolling motor for trolling, you can definitely see out, you know, 160, 200, 300 feet. If I dialed it in a little bit better, I'm sure I could see out further. But um, if guys are trolling with a trolling motor, I could definitely see walleye guys, musky guys, trout and salmon guys. I could definitely see getting over top of these fish and running your running your bait through them trolling but there's no distortion when you step on the trolling motor and start moving now I'm sure there will be when I put it on full blast but now nah, it's still pretty good you can see all that bait fish there's a bank 
But I mean, the cool thing about this is I can, I can pull into a creek, drop the trolling motor, put it on high, and yeah, I may miss some stuff because I'm flying down the bank, but that's wide open and I'm not missing. I mean, if, as long as I'm moving it around, I can see how much bait or how much fish are in a particular creek. If there's, if I'm in the right place, I'm not gonna miss it. And obviously once you get close to a big pot of bait or something, you're gonna slow down, turn it down, dial it in a little bit and look a little bit closer. But as far as covering water fast and efficiently, this is definitely gonna help me. All right, so we just tested out the new Garmin XR transducer. Um, I definitely think it will help me uh, be more efficient during practice, you know, because you want to be as efficient as you possibly can. I know that I could run down a, down a bank with my side view and, and be able to see most, but if, if I can just drop in the middle of a, of a creek or a cut and um, use my forward-facing sonar to uh, race down the middle of it, find where the bait is, find where the fish are, uh, I definitely think it would be helpful. The guys that fish deep, clear lakes, uh, Bugs Island, Blue Black Lakes, Lake Murray, Clarks Hill, um, Lanier. Uh, I definitely see this as being a huge advantage just because you can cover, you know, twice the amount that you used to be able to cover. And um, uh, maybe the guys in the shallow lakes or grass lakes, uh, I'm not so sure that it would be um, ideal for them, but, um, but definitely deep, clear, open water, salt water, um, up north the Great Lakes definitely would be a advantage. I'm going to Champlain next week and um, I'm going to try it there. Hopefully I'll get a day or two out on Lake Erie when I visit my family in Buffalo and um, I'll get uh, get some more footage up from that but overall it's definitely going to be an advantage for me um, because I love to fish offshore and I can find things a lot quicker with this so um, I'll definitely be checking it out. Check it out. It should be coming out in the next uh, next couple weeks. I know that Garmin's anxious to get it out, so um, definitely going to broaden the horizon on on forward-facing sonar from a from a species perspective because um, you can see out so much further. I think the Great Lakes trout and salmon guys, walleye guys, I think they're going to find a good uh, a lot of use for this. Crappy guys too. Um, I definitely think it's going to be an advantage.